Pennsylvania class battleship was designed for the US Navy to be built during the 1913 fiscal year. The US Navy had a building program where each year there would be two battleships created for the US Navy. The design was intended to conform to the standard battleship doctrine, which was to regulate the speed and weaponry to ensure that all battleships would be of similar capacity. The number of guns on the Pennsylvania class was increased to 12 14 inch 45 caliber guns, which was two more than the previous Nevada class. Some countries' battleships were using larger caliber guns in their battleships, but it was felt that a larger number of 14 inch guns would actually produce a heavier weight of shell in the broadside than giving it a fewer number of large caliber guns. By keeping all of the battleships in a standard gun platform meant that fleet maneuvers would be simplified. Having the same speed and gun ranges meant that all ships in the line would be able to engage the enemy at the same range at the same time, making coordinated maneuvers a lot simpler. The turret layout for the Pennsylvania class was debated and an unusual departure from, not, from the normal, um, using a triple gun turret, both front and rear in super firing pairs, which at the time was still untested. Although the previous Nevada class did have a triple turret, that was still being built and had not actually been tested um, for use. It was felt though that the chance of this type of turret working was high and the weight reduction over having either wing or a midship super firing dual turrets would give an overall benefit and saving. By reducing the number of turrets by two, that was also reducing the amount of barbettes, the length of the citadel, which would reduce the overall belt length, belt armor length, and less magazines, more concentrated in the two main firing areas. This overall would reduce the weight and the amount of armor required, and that weight could be put into thicker armor. The armor also followed the all or nothing raft design, where all essential ma machinery and equipment was protected by thick armor, and all non-essential areas and structures would be not protected at all, rather than having a medium or light armor um, effect. The all or nothing armor design was based upon the idea that all future big gun engagements would use armor piercing shells rather than a mixture of HE and armor piercing. It was important to obviously protect the critical areas, but the less critical areas by not having them armored would ensure that any armor piercing shells would generally pass through and over penetrate rather than any medium level of armor would set off the fuse in the shell and cause a, a detonation in a potentially critical area. The citadel was also designed as a raft where if the bow and or stern were flooded or lost in any way, the central citadel area and all the central systems would still remain af afloat. By the end of June 1912, a final design was accepted, which resulted in a weight of approximately 29,620 tons, a 21 knot speed powered through four screws using oil-fired oil fired steam turbines producing 31 and a half thousand shaft horsepower range was estimated to be 6,000 nautical miles the armor belt was 13 and a half inches tapering to 8 inches at the ends turret armor was 18 inches at the front 10 inches on the sides and 5 inches on the roof and deck armors was 3 inches 
armament was 12 14 inch 45 caliber guns in four triple turrets, two super farming at the front, two super farming at the rear. 22 5 inch 51 caliber casement guns were installed in the hull area to provide anti torpedo boat protection. Four 3 inch AA guns were installed and two 21 inch torpedo tubes firing amidships. Typically the order was given to the ship with the lowest bid which was made without including the armour and armament which is relatively important for a battleship. So the resulting ship ended up costing double the quoted price once the armour and armaments were fitted. The US Pennsylvania was commissioned in the 12th of June 1916 and the USS Arizona commissioned on the 17th of October 1916. Although commissioned before America joined the fight going on in Europe, the ships did not go on active duty in Europe mainly because they were oil fired and there was not sufficient reserves of oil in the UK compared to coal. So older coal fired ships were sent to um, Europe instead. After the cessation of hostilities, the ships were sent across the Atlantic with USS Pennsylvania escorting President Woodrow to the Paris Peace Conference. Both ships were assigned back to the Pacific Fleet after small missions around Peru and South America. Both ships were extensively modified in 1929 to 1930 with the main gun elevation increased the terrible lattice masts changed to more traditional tripod masts. The casement mounted 5 inch guns were reduced to 12 and the 3 inch AA guns were replaced by an additional 8 5 inch 25 caliber AA guns. The torpedo tubes were removed and the deck armour was increased by 2 inches and anti torpedo bulkheads added to protect the engine room area. The ships were present at the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor with the Pennsylvania in dry dock undergoing a refit and USS Arizona was moored among other battleships at Ford Island. The Pennsylvania's AA gun crews were able to start firing at the incoming aircraft and torpedo bombers uh, trying to destroy the dock gates and flood the dock that the Pennsylvania was in. High altitude bombers did try to attack the Pennsylvania directly and one bomb did go through the deck and explode in one of the casement guns. The AA gunners did try to fire on the bombers but was relatively ineffective as incorrect fuse settings had been used but during the battle the Pennsylvania was credited with de destroying two low flying aircraft. The USS Arizona sounded general quarters shortly after 7.55 and just after 8 o'clock, 10 bombers carrying a modified 16-inch 16 16 inch armor-piercing shell bombed the Arizona, scoring 4 hits and 3 near misses. The last bomb to hit at about 8.06 was near the second turret and penetrated the deck to ultimately detonate the magazines. The explosion was devastating to the ship and destroyed most of the internal structure of the ship and collapsed the upper decks into the bow area. The USS Arizona was too damaged to be salvaged and her superstructure was scrapped and surviving guns taken to be used elsewhere. Her remains are now a memorial to Pearl Harbor under the control of the National Park Service, but retaining the Navy title and right to fly the national flag as an active commissioned vessel. The USS Pennsylvania was repaired after Pearl Harbor and took part in maneuvers near California. During this time she was overhauled also in San Francisco. A considerable strengthening of AA defenses was undertaken on most ships after Pearl Harbor and the Pennsylvania was fitted with 10 quad 40mm Bofors, 51 20mm Olican cannons and the original casement 5 inch guns and 5 inch AA guns were replaced by 16 5 inch dual purpose guns in 8 twin mount turrets. A new CXAM-1 radar was also 
fitted for detection of aircraft and surface ships but not used for fire direction this was one of the first uses of radar on large capital ships in the US Navy for the rest of the war the USS Pennsylvania was used extensively for shore bombardment from the Aleutian Islands campaign supporting infantry attacks and amphibious landings during the Marshalls and Marianas campaign she bombarded the atoll in preparation for attacks and supported the infantry at Eniwetak and Parry Island. Pennsylvania continued her bombardment duties shelling Saipan, Guam, Peleliu and Lingayen Gulf. By the end of these duties she had worn out her barrels on her main guns and had to be overhauled to replace them. Returning to the fleet she bombarded Wake Island on the way to Okinawa to resume her bombardment duties. Whilst moored she was hit by a Japanese torpedo causing serious damage to her aft and was the last US ship to be damaged in World War II as the next day the Japanese surrendered. In 1946 the USS Pennsylvania was designated to be, to be a target ship and was part of the Bikini Atoll atomic bomb tests. Surviving the two bomb blasts she was subjected to, but considered ra highly radioactive, she was towed away for structural and radiological tests and finally scuttled in 1948.